Muchas gracias, señora presidenta, y aprovecho para felicitarle por su liderazgo en el desarrollo de esta comisión. At the International Federation for Family Development, we have been involved with UN DESA in the preparations around the world of the 30th anniversary of the International Year of the Family, also celebrated this year. We have been part of 28 events, and our recent IFFD World Congress has taken place in Cebu, Philippines, with over 1,300 delegates from 51 countries as the final step of these preparations. During this gathering, we realized once more the profound extent to which families seek guidance and innovative solutions for the challenges they have to face, especially now and especially in these five points. First point, the decline in fertility and changes in family structures and lifestyles have implications for care arrangements and support systems, and the disproportionate burden for women continues to be undervalued in many cases. Second, controlled and managed migration can be a partial solution to reduce the dependency ratios in Europe, but only in the short and medium term. We need further solutions. Third, population aging on a societal level will be a main challenge. Raising the retirement age, the financial viability of pensions and the healthcare system where it exists are being widely discussed including an increasing demand for long-term care workers. Four, promoting intergenerational solidarity must be a key principle in European care and family policies, including fostering cooperation and understanding, encouraging support networks, and recognizing the contributions of older adults to society. And fifth, the main goal of family policy should be to prevent unwanted loneliness, unwanted lack of information, uh, unwanted social exclusion, and child poverty, making sure that families can have the number of children they desire, etc. We want to stress that the implementation of the program of action of the International Conference on Population and Development and its contribution to the follow-up and review of the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development should integrate the pivotal road of families to achieve a real social justice. I thank you very much, Madam Chair.